solve a problem present on the screen. And this is the most commonly asked question in all competitive examination where aptitude is being tested. Question. There is a person by name Ajit. He drives from home to office at a speed of 30 km per hour and reaches office 14 minutes late. Next day, he drives from home to office at a speed of 40 km per hour and reaches office 16 minutes early. We have to find the distance from home to office. Let us see the traditional approach to solve this question. A person is travelling from home to office. Distance is constant. Let me call the distance as a d kilometers. On day 1, he travels at a speed of 30 km per hour. Speed is 30 km per hour. Distance is d km. So, time will be d by 30. Second day, he travels at 40 km per hour. Therefore, his time will be d by 40. The difference in the time periods will be d by 30 minus d by 40. On day 1, he reached the office 14 minutes late. That means if the office timing is 8 o'clock, he reached the office at 8.14. Next day, he reached the office 16 minutes early. 16 minutes early means instead of reaching office at 8 o'clock, he reached the office at 7.44. So, we got one equation that is d by 30 minus d by 40 for time period and it is also equated with 30 minutes. Why 30 minutes? Instead of reaching office at 8 o'clock, he reached the office at 14 minutes late, 8.14 and next time is 7.44. 744 to 8 is 16 minutes, 8 to 8.14 is 14 minutes. So, D by 30 minus D by 40 equivalent to 30 minutes, which is nothing but half, 1 by 2 of an hour. So, we will get the answer as D by 60. This is the traditional method to solve the question. Now, let us look at an another innovative way to solve this question. From the question, we understood that distance is a constant. What do you mean by constant? Constant is a fixed quantity. Quantity which can be fixed. 23 is constant. 34.2 is constant. Any numerical value is considered to be constant. So, instead of solving the question by using variables, let us convert that variables into some constant values. Let us take some dummy value for D. To get the answer in less time and space, we will take some value which is a multiple of the speeds given in the question. Speeds given in the question are 30 and 40. So, I am taking D value as LCM of 30 and 40 which happens to be 120 kilometers. Even you multiply 30 into 40, still you will get the same answer. You wish to take your rule number as a D value, still you will get the same answer. Any integer value other than 0, if you take, you will get the answer. Because he is travelling some distance, we cannot take 0. 0 will make all the values 0. I assumed the distance to be 120 kilometers. 120 kilometers on day 1, he travels at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. That means for 1 hour, he travels a distance of 30 kilometers. To travel 120 kilometers, he takes 4 hours. Second day, he travels at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. That means 1 hour 40 kilometers. To travel a distance of 120 kilometers, he takes 3 hours. Because I assumed the distance to be 120 kilometers, the difference in time periods will be first day 4 hours, second day 3 hours, which happens to be 1 hour. That means 60 minutes difference in time period is equal to a distance of 120 kilometers. But according to the question, the difference in time period is not 60 minutes, but it is 30 minutes. By using proportionality, 60 minutes is 120 kilometers, 
30 minutes is 60 kilometers. Therefore, the answer will be 60 kilometers. In all the problems which involves one parameter to be constant, please remove that constant and replace it with one variable. For example, we discuss in direct proportionality, A is proportional to B. A is proportional to B, B means A equivalent to K into B. What is K? Constant. Remove it and replace it with some numerical value. In all the problems where proportionality is involved, instead of writing a variable, replace it with some constant value to get the answer in less time and space. You can use this concept in problems where speed is constant, distance is constant, time is constant, work is constant, efficiency is constant, price is constant, consumption is constant, all the parameters where one parameter is a constant and we have to find out the constant. Take the LCM from the given values. That is the gist of the question. Having understood this problem, let us solve another problem without using pen on the paper. There is a person by name Barun who travels at 15 kilometers per hour, reaches office 40 minutes late on day one. Next day, he travels at 30 km per hour, reaches office 10 minutes late. Find the distance from home to office. Let us solve it orally. 15, 30. LCM is 30 km. So, if I assume the distance to be 30 km, day 1, he takes 2 hours. Second day, he takes 1 hour. 2 hours, 1 hour. Gap is 1 hour. That means 60 minutes difference in time period is because of assuming the distance to be 30 kilometers. But according to the question, it is not 60 minutes. Read the question once again. It is 40 minutes late. That means instead of reaching the office at 9 o'clock, it is 9.40. Second day, 10 minutes late. Instead of reaching the office at 9 o'clock, he reaches office 9.10. 9.40, 9.10. Difference is 30 minutes. That means 60 minutes time gap is 30 kilometers, but 30 minutes time gap is 30 kilometers. I hope you have understood this concept. Thank you for watching this video.